guys welcome or welcome back to my channel it's been a long time i feel like i say that every time i start recording a youtube video it's been a while and like here's my dilemma so i love making videos and i love editing and i love filming and i just feel like what i started my channel is like i'm no longer passionate about the things that i used to make videos about and i don't find like the motivation to make those type of videos and I know that there's so many people on my channel who are here like purely for NYU content and while well, I want to like help people and make those videos for them um there's a lot of things that like vlogs and stuff like I'm so uncomfortable like filming myself walking down the street so I don't want to like force myself to make videos that I'm uncomfortable making but I'm still trying to find like a middle ground and like what I love filming about and what I love doing for my channel. So I've been thinking and I want to let you guys into my life and like know me more personally than what I portray on my channel. And I know like one of the ways that a lot of people do that is with vlogs, like daily vlogs, just day to day so you guys can see how I really am as a person. But until I get to like that level of comfortability where I'm okay, like just out with my phone like recording myself like on the streets and walking then I don't want to do that I think I came to the conclusion that I want to start a poetry series on my channel poetry is something that I've been doing for a while I always write poetry just like when I'm in my feelings or just like feeling inspired then I go into my journal and I write poetry and I've never performed it I've never shared it with anybody besides like the people closest in my life but it's something that's very personal and puts me in a vulnerable position. But I feel like it's something that would get you guys to know me better. And I also think you guys might really enjoy it. This is the first video of a series that I want to start on my channel and that I'm hoping that I will actually keep up with. So I'm going to be doing a poem that I wrote. I hope you guys like it. That's it. Like, that's really it. Um, something different, something new for me. I've never, like, the only poetry I watch on YouTube is like button poetry and that's like professionally filmed all this stuff like I've never really seen anybody or maybe I just haven't looked for it like people actually just like sitting down and reading like the poems that they write um but yeah it's putting me in a super vulnerable position but I want you guys to get to know me better and I want to create content for you guys content that I genuinely enjoy creating as well so here goes nothing it's a quick poem that I wrote yeah it's pretty dramatic but I feel like writing is dramatic and yeah. Here we go. Light me up and fill the sky. Like stars covered by light pollution in the New York City sky. Like fireflies at night. Like fireworks in July. Like when you kiss me goodnight. Like when you call me beautiful. When you say my name and pronounce every syllable. When you look my way and I forget this is digital. This isn't real. This isn't shit. I know you just wanted to hit, but somewhere, somehow, I thought maybe I was different. I thought maybe between our lust locked lips and our slow moving hips and our kisses. In our kisses, how I can feel the waves crash into the shore when you crash into me. It's a constant, reliable, steadfast accident that never disappoints. No. It's like a car crash. It's so unpredictable. It could happen at any moment. You should always keep your seatbelt fastened so you don't go flying out the window. Did you know most car accidents happen within one mile of your home? It's not shocking that the trauma happened within me. See, from the outside in, you worked your way through like a termite starting to burrow and I had no idea what you do still I let you. I let you make a home out of my willingness to provide, to divide myself from my standards to subside. I let you get comfortable. I made my bed and let you sleep in it. I gave you hope and placed your dreams in it. I supported your future with the thought maybe one day I might be in it. But you are not for me and that's something I've learned I'm going to have to accept. You are not for my warm hands during a frozen New York winter. You are not for my soft skin after a rough day at work. You are not for my gentle voice to soothe you when anxiety fights. You are not for me. And I'm not for you either. I am not for your inability to decide, your insecurities at all time highs, your impulsivity when I'm right. You just can't admit that, can you? It's either your way or no way. You say you care about my feelings, but do you? Always this or that, a tit for tat, a fist to wrap, a plan to map, it's all for you. You just don't get that and you never will so I'm letting go of what's comfortable and causing me to spill like the waves crashing into the shore when you crash into me spill over light me up let me go. 
I wouldn't even know like how to end these videos. Yeah, that was it. There's the poem. Eh. <laughs> but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys are looking forward to what's to come. Um, I'm really excited to do this. I love poetry. I love writing. I love listening to other people's poetry. And yeah, this is something that's super personal, deep, and important to me. And I hope you guys enjoy it. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Talk about it. Show everybody. Show the whole world. And um, I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.